Hey there, tech fans. Welcome to Zemo Blade NAS Server Show. Today, we're diving deep into the world of network attached storage with the incredible Zemo Blade NAS Server. We'll show you how to assemble it, explore its capabilities, and highlight what makes it unique. And of course, we'll have some laughs along the way. Let's get started. First up, the unboxing. There's something about unboxing tech that's like Christmas morning. If Christmas morning involved anti-static bags and a lot more bubble wrap. Inside, we've got a small server unit, which has an Intel Celeron Apollo Lake, which has quad core CPU, it has one PCIe 2.0 X4 with a speed of two gigabytes per second. It also has one USB 3 type C, one USB 3 type A, and two times USB C 2.0 internal. It has one gigabit Ethernet LAN, one Type C display port that can go up to 4K 60 Hz, one mini display port 1.2, which can go up to the same 4K 60 Hz. It can do two SATAs of 6.0, up to 6 gigs per second, and a power supply, which is a 12 volts, 3 amps USB Type C power. And the all important instruction manual. But who reads those? Psh, not us, right? Just kidding, always read your manuals, folks. Now let's install the RAM. The Zemo Blade is capable of having up to 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, which is super easy to install. You just have to take off two screws on top here. Once you've done that, you'll be able to take off the clear case, and then you can install the 16 gigs RAM, which just attaches into the drive press it down and you're done now all it is to it is putting back everything together the clear cover the two screws and the black cover after that and that's it now the next one is we attach the hard drives it's like putting together a tacky sandwich bread ham cheese and two terabytes of storage Make that two, actually. Just slide these bad boys in here, screw them down, and you're good to go. So why is it that the smallest screws always have the biggest attitudes? Stop it. Get some help. Now we connect our Zima blade to the network. Ethernet cable in here. Power supply, USB-C in here. A quick power dance. And we're ready to boot up. Nice. Cue the dramatic power-up music. Let's go. Behold, the Zima Blade NAS server comes to life. It's alive, alive. And okay, maybe that's not that dramatic, but you get the idea. Once it's all booted up, you can go to your computer browser, type in casaos.local, and then you can create an account by having username and password. So this is the dashboard for the casaos. Basically, we have our uh, WD Blue right in the middle there. Uh, 1.8 terabytes each. Um, we're gonna. Uh, format that so it, it works properly so i'm gonna try this out let's create storage and then it says here attention the drive you have selected can be used directly as storage you can also choose create uh, after formatting once formatted the selected drive will be emptied okay so now we're gonna choose one of these and hit storage one let's hit uh, format and create and that should format and create a new drive for your casa os we also did both of them as you could see here and just name it storage one and two next up is going to the terminal and typing in ip space a this is how you'll be able to get your ip address on your zima blade and then you'll be able to access it from your phone and your computer after that you have to be in the same network and you type in the ip address on any browser on your phone or computer now that it's up and running let's talk capabilities the zima blade nas server isn't just a pretty face i know it has a nice outside and it has a nice packaging as well but it also packs with features that will make your data storage dreams come true first off we've got raid support 
RAID 0, 1, 5, 6, 10, you name it. It's like a buffet of data redundancy and performance options. Nice. Next, we have Cloud Sync. The Zima Blade can back up your data to the cloud seamlessly. Think of it as your own personal bouncer, keeping your data safe with any unruly bits and bytes. Damn! And don't forget the built-in media server. Stream your favorite movies, music, cat videos directly to your device. It's like having your own personal Netflix, but with fewer rom-coms and more epic storage options. Wow! Now let's talk about what makes Zima Blade unique. First up, the Zima Blade NAS server is designed for ultimate user friendliness. If you can operate a toaster, you can set up a Zima Blade. Just don't try toasting bread with it. Trust me, I tried. <laughs> Also, using the Casa OS makes it super easy to download different apps. You can back up for files from your iPhone, Android, PC, whatever your computer is. You can also transfer files within all your devices, whether it's an Apple device or Windows or Android. The PCIe X4 also it makes it so that you can have more SATA slots, NVMe SSDs, double or triple, doesn't matter or a graphics card as well. Secondly, it's got an AI-based optimization system, and that's right, AI. This server learns your storage habits and optimizes performance accordingly. It's like having a little tech genie inside minus the three wishes. And finally, the Zima Blade has an eco-friendly mode. It saves energy when not in use. It actually only uses 10 watts, so you can feel good about saving the planet while storing your 10,000 pictures of your dog, or cat, or your grandma, or your nephew, whatever, no judgment here. Please, no, no, no! And there you have it, everyone. The Zima Blade NAS server is easy to assemble, packed with features, and uniquely awesome. Whether you're a tech newbie or a seasoned pro, no. Yeah, <laughs> boy. This server has something for everyone. Thanks for joining us on the Zima Blade NAS Server Show. Stay techy, stay savvy, and remember, always back up your data. And I guess your jokes, if it's that bad. <laughs>